Hi, De Shupriyo. So the CET exam, uh, that's the update that we have recently and I don't usually make uh, videos on these updates always but a lot of you asked me some questions so I thought that uh, this is an opportune time to actually uh, go and explain a few of the things that uh, we are seeing about the CET exam. Now uh, it is more or less confirmed actually that the CET is going to happen in early 2022. So uh, we actually had a confirmation by the government recently so I'll just show you that tweet uh, that they put out so it was by uh, Dr. Uh, Jitendra Singh and uh, so they have actually uh, mentioned here that the CET will be conducted across the country from early 2022. Now <laughs> this is quite interesting that uh, they don't give us any date uh, again it is early 2022 so uh, uh, earlier they had said it was uh, late 2021 but now they have actually postponed it a little bit but anyhow and uh, so Ladakh they are going to have two centers at Leh and Kargil. So that's the update that they have uh, given us and uh, this is an official government source so we can uh, sort of rely on it uh, even though we are not really sure when exactly the date is uh, but now that we have the tentative date of the CET exam it is very important that you follow the advice that I had been telling you since a long time. So I will be reiterating my advice which is that 2021 this is your most important year for all of the bank aspirants who are watching this video. It is very very important that you get the job this year because we do not know what's going to happen in the CET because there are lots of moving pieces. So whenever a new change comes into the system, it takes some time right before we can actually understand it, before we can actually internalize it. So please take the time to give all the exams of this year very very carefully so you are going to have the SBI PO as well that's coming out and the SBIJ main examination is going to happen and all the other examinations the IPS PO the IPS clerk uh, the RRB examinations just whatever exam you can get this year be very very focused that you have to get the job now don't wait for the CET please because there's so many changes that are coming and I don't really want you to uh, you know wait until those changes come into effect and then there's lots of chaos again now the NRA and the CET so some people were a little bit confused NRA is your national recruitment agency so that is basically the society that is basically the body that the government has created or is in the process of creating that is going to conduct the CET or the common eligibility test. So what are the three types of examinations that we are going to subsume into the CET? So we have the Staff Selection Commission or the SSC, we have the Railway Recruitment Board or the RRB and the Institute of Banking Personal Selection, the IBPS. So all of these examinations which are conducted by these three bodies are going to be subsumed into the CET. Now the CET, it is not going to be a single level exam. So it is something like a preliminary exam. So you can think of it as uh, the replacement of all your prelims examinations all the tier 2 the tier 3 examinations or the main examinations are going to still happen but CET is your initial screening process so this is something that is quite important to remember and to understand uh, if you are thinking about the CET and how to actually best tackle it now you have to understand that these three bodies they have very different types of examinations right so how is the uh, consolidation going to happen what are they going to include what are they going to actually exclude now these all things are unknown to us so we do not know many people they also ask me about the cutoff so this cutoff thing it is also something that is very very important to understand that the cutoff I cannot tell you anything because the CAT it is actually very very different from our normal prelims examination so normal prelims examination what happens there is always a cutoff right but here the CET exam you can give unlimited times so there is no limit on how many times you can give this examination uh, it will be held twice a year so you can give both times in a year doesn't really matter and whatever the score you are getting that score remains valid for three years and also this is quite important that your best score is actually chosen so for example if you gave the CET now and then again later in the year you gave the CET so for example if your first score is higher than your second score so your first score is what is going to be actually uh, included so your highest score is always going to be considered for any kind of the next level examinations that you are going for so this is very important to understand and it is also quite similar to these 
these examinations like the GRE exam that you have and the gate examination that you have so these are all the international level examinations and uh, kind of government is moving in that direction and also I try to simplify this by uh, explaining you that uh, these types of exams you can think of it as a civil score so we know that a civil score you can get out of uh, 800 say for example 800 is your uh, highest score in the CT exam so maybe uh, it will happen that for the next level examinations you have to get above 700 or above 720 something like that so a hard cutoff will not be there but there will still be a soft cutoff so that is how the cutoff is going to actually work in the CET examination and all of these things actually I have described in a video where I have gone into much detail about the CET so go ahead and check out that video it is going to be very useful to you even now if you are really confused or if you are a little bit anxious about the CET so please uh, don't really be worried you know whatever will happen will happen we cannot really do anything we just have to prepare we just have to adapt right and uh, finally my opinion so what is my opinion regarding this so I have actually a few points that I want to tell so the first point that I have to say is that uh, basically this CET it was announced over one year ago and even now we have not had much progress so I really really doubt whether early 2022 they are going to be actually able to uh, hold the CET examinations maybe it will be in the middle of 2022 or at the fact end of 2022 so it can happen like that as well but we still do not know so we have to go by the official announcement of early 22 so that is what we have to tackle but that is what we have to actually think about the next thing to remember is that uh, the CET exam it is going to unfairly complicate many things because till now we actually had a very fair idea of how these examinations are happening so we had a good idea but in CET it is actually further going to complicate because CET will have three types of examinations there is going to be one for the 10th pass there is going to be another for the 12th pass and then there is another one for the graduates so there are three types of CETs actually and based on that there will be different difficulty levels of the CET as well so these kinds of things are unnecessarily going to complicate things so my my personal take is that we didn't really need to complicate these things we could have actually uh, you know gone with the present system and even if we had a new system there were better ways so in my previous video also I have told that I wanted separate papers and separate CETs for different types of examination so maybe SSC, RRB, IBPS has its own CET only one type of examination and you have optional papers that you can take so that you can uh, you know go ahead and get selected in any of these bodies but of course this kind of a thing that they are going for I do not think it is going to simplify matters I think it is going to make matters more and more complex now the third thing that I am worried about is that they have still not told us about the syllabus so we do not really know what is the syllabus that uh, the CT is going to bring to us so it is a very uh, you know very unknown kind of a territory that we are going into so we do not really know what is going to be the future of the CT and that is why I am still not sure that they are going to make it in time it is, it is very unlikely in my opinion and the fourth thing is another crippling factor which is that they have announced that the CT it is going to happen in 12 regional languages can you imagine that so 12 languages of India are going to be included in the CET and we already saw right we already saw what happened in the IBPS clerk examination so it was uh, held off because of this kind of a thing with the languages so if one exam we are not able to conduct uh, properly with the languages thing so this high level this huge level uh, all India level examination how we are going to uh, you know do it so fast in a very very efficient manner it does seem uh, like a huge challenge and something that students should not have been you know given right now we are already struggling with a lot of challenges so we could live life without the added pressure of the CET because joblessness is quite high and after the pandemic everybody is struggling but of course the government uh, they are hell-bent on doing this and finally so what should you do now my advice would be to forget about this forget about the CET think about 2021 you still have a lot of months left you still have a lot of examinations left so the reason that I made this video is basically to tell you 
do not worry about the CET. I just laid down all the things about the CET so you have it in front of you. Go watch that previous video as well so you'll get a good idea. I believe it makes sense to stay prepared and to understand all the changes but you should not waste time on something that has not been implemented as of now. We still do not know whether it will even be possible in 2022 because earlier government had said that 2021 is the date for the CET, right? So if they can still postpone it. So my advice would be to go forward with the examinations that we are having right now and I also have some products for you so I'll be linking them down below my general awareness and the banking awareness course and the budget course that I have so you can go ahead and check them out it's going to be very useful for all the mains level examinations so just do what you can right now and do not think about the future uncertainty whatever will happen it will happen the same for everybody everybody will have to deal with it so it is not just your problem so with that I hope that you learned something from this video and that it was beneficial to you if you enjoyed it please click on the like button and share it with your friends if you want to see more of this kind of content please click on the subscribe button and do not forget to click the bell icon so that you my friend do not miss any future update i'll see you in the next